Let's hear more from Marina Elliott. She joins me on the phone from uh, South Africa. So, Marina, what an amazing discovery. What, is the, what does this mean to you in the world? Um, it, obviously, it's, it's incredibly exciting. Um, yeah, it's, it, obviously, a new, a new species is, is wonderful, and the context is very unusual. So I think it's going to generate a lot of interest and, you know, some controversy, certainly, but it will be very, very interesting. Why, why controversy? Well, I think, um, you know, we, we, through a process of elimination, came to the conclusion that the only way that this material could have gotten into the cave, so far into the cave, and into such a difficult area of the cave, was that this population was actually bringing their dead into this area. And for that to happen in a species not Homo sapien, not us, is, is pretty startling. So take me back to the first day that you went into the cave. What was that experience like? Oh, it was um, it was incredible. Um, we had done a, a quick tour of the cave, just sort of a reconnaissance the day before, and I had looked down what we call the chute, which is the narrowest, most dangerous part of of the journey to the excavation chamber. And I remember looking down that day and thinking, oh, you know, what have I got myself into? I'm not sure I can do this, because looking down that, that section was really intimidating. Next day, we were actually slated to go and excavate, and um, it was, yeah, it was a very difficult journey. It's, it's very physical, very hard. Um, and then at the, just before the excavation chamber, there's a very narrow hallway, so you have to turn sideways just to sort of slip through this, this hallway, and then you open up into this, this excavation chamber. And, um, yeah, it was just, it was sort of indescribable um, how exciting that was. And, I mean, the climb and, and, and caving itself was was fun, but to know that that was on the other side was, was really amazing. And 18 centimeters. I mean, that is just, that's a very, I'm kind of showing that what 18 centimeters is roughly here. <laughs> that is not a very big opening. Did, did, you, did you feel at one point that you, were gonna, that you could get stuck, or did you just sort of get on through fairly um, easily? Well, no. Um, I mean, it, it is a very tiny space. I mean, it's, it's a pinch point in a longer crack. So laterally, you have a little bit of room, but basically you have rock touching your chest and touching your back at the same time. So, I mean, if, if you're so inclined, you can inflate your, your lungs enough to, to hold yourself just with your chest between these, these two rocks. And then the, the actual area is very sharp. There's a lot of protrusions in the, in the rock, so you're negotiating not just the very small space, but a lot of sharp rock, and you can't really see what you're doing because your headlamp is too close. So, yeah, it's an intimidating space, but it's also exhilarating. So take me back to that moment when you saw these bones in front of you. Yeah, um, I came through that, that little narrow hallway, and uh, as you mentioned, I was the, the first scientist in. And, um, you know, it's, it's dark, obviously. It's pitch dark, except for your headlamp. And it's, it's very warm. It's an 18 degree centigrade constant temperature there, but it's actually 99% humidity. So it's very, very damp. It's very sort of smells like warm, moist earth. And, and I entered into the, the chamber and, you know, got a glimpse of the walls, and it's still a very small space. But, yeah, literally everywhere that my headlamp fell, I could, I could see fragments of bone. And, and for me, that, that instant moment was, was what I imagined Howard Carter to have felt when he opened Tutankhamun's tomb. And uh, it just, it was really, really incredible. Amazing story. Yeah, thank you very much for sharing, sharing it with us, Marina. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. That's paleo anthropologist Marina Elliott speaking to us from Cradle of Humankind in South Africa.